Hello my friends, this is Michael with the Wupnik channel. Today I'm talking about this computer here. This computer is the strongest and fastest computer I ever had sitting here on this desk. This computer is an HP Z4 G4 with an Intel i9 CPU. This machine is a beast. It is a monster. It is super. It is a spaceship. This machine is great. This computer is, let's see, 17.5 inches deep, 6.5 inches wide, yep, and the computer is exactly 15 inches high. All right, my friends, do you want to see the inside of this wonderful computer? Yep, here it's very easy to open. You just push it upwards and the door comes conveniently very easy out. Let's remove it and there it is. Now, doesn't it look great? Is this not a great looking computer? I love it. I really do love it. This computer comes in two versions. One version supports the uh, Intel uh, W uh, series CPUs and the other system supports the Intel X series CPUs. This one here supports the X series CPUs. It has an, an Intel i9 CPU. This computer has one CPU slot underneath the cooler here and a cross of eight DIMM slots. You can install up to 512 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4 RAM. This computer has two 3.5 inch hard drive bays. Down here you see an expansion board. This expansion board contains the uh, M.2 NVMe SSD for this computer, which is the boot drive. It has a size of 512 gigabytes. There is no, there is no additional uh, NVMe M.2 slots on the motherboard itself, which I think is strange. This computer here is heavy, but it has two convenient located handles on the system, so it is no problem to carry it around, at least over short distances. See? Yep, that's it. Yep. And now put it back down. I think this is a great idea. Let's have a look at the outside of the uh, X-Series Z4 G4 computer. Here you, uh, you see the power button. Over here you see the generic audio out, for example, for headphones. And here you see four USB-A version 3.1 uh, uh, USB ports. Uh, the uh, W-Series has a different layout. The W-Series for the Xeon CPUs, for example, have only uh, two USB-A ports here and here they have two USB ports type C. And last but not least, this little thing here is the, uh, is, uh, the room, the, is a spot for the optional SD card reader. This computer does not have the optional SD card reader. And now we are seeing the back of the computer. Here is the PSU, the power supply. Uh, the Z4 G4 series comes with three different options for power supplies. One is a 460 watt power supply. The second one is a 750 watt power supply. And last but not least, a 1000 watt power supply. That's huge. That's big. That's wow. And here is now the uh, port layout of the X-Series Z4 G4. Here on top you see audio in and audio out. Here are two legacy PS2 ports. I really don't know why they still include these old PS2 ports in a hyper duper super duper computer. Here we, uh, we see five uh, USB-A version 3.1 USB, uh, USB ports and here is one gigabit, one one gigabit Ethernet port.
the layout of the uh, W series uh, Z4 G4 computer is slightly different. It has more USB A version 3.1 ports and instead of one one gigabyte Ethernet port, it has two. This computer supports up to four SATA drives, 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch with an adapter. This computer has the following PCIe slots. It has two PCIe uh, Generation 3 X16 slots. It has two PCIe Generation 3 X4 and one PCIe Generation 3 X8 slot. This is very generous and of course the motherboards supports either having only one uh, video card built in or two video cards. My friends, this was a short system overview of the uh, X-Series Z4 G4 uh, computer from Hewlett Packard. And uh, I will do another video to show you the performance, the power which is here lingering in the computer. There is a lion built in, there is a tiger built in. I, I, I can hardly contain myself. This computer is just everything I ever dreamt of, really. That is it for today. I am logging off. I'm still totally excited about this great com computer. Uh, please look out for my next video. I really uh, love to, uh, to show you how this computer performs. Believe me, it will perform like a roaring beast. Should you have some time, please only when you're not too busy, feel free to subscribe to my channels. Yeah, I'm financing my channel only through advertising and therefore I need subscribers. And when you like my video, please like it. All right. Well, this was not a pun. It, uh, yeah, well, you know what I mean. Okay, well, have a great weekend. Today is again Saturday and uh, the next video about the Z4 G4 will be coming very soon. I'm working on it, uh, uh, people. I really do. Just for you, okay? Bye-bye. Oh.